so this is week two of the Iron Heart, Iron Reach StarCraft League. And on the top right, we see the purple Zerg cloud. And on the bottom left, we see someone normally playing Zerg, but just playing Terran. And it's literally Biz in the blue. I'm not sure what to show here, because it seems like, yep, they're mining. Yep, this is the beginning of the game, not much to show. <laughs> Well, I will say this is the map is Everdream. It's, it's almost it's almost perfectly standard, except for two things. First off, the lighting washes out all the units and makes them all look ugly. And secondly, <laughs> the two bases closest to the middle, instead of having two normal geysers, have one geyser that can be mined twice as fast. Oh, is that the purple geyser? Yeah. yeah. And it can be used in silly strategies, if a player is so inclined. Yeah. Looks like Bismarck has Vespine going up, which I assume is significant. Nope, oh, it's Vespine so after a barrack that's very standard for Terran. And Cloud also went Hatchery first, which is also incredibly standard. Hatchery even Gast and Pool, and they're both playing normally. Bismarck got an SCV stuck out of the, out of their base. Amazing. Building a command center on the high ground. I assume just numing it over here or some shit. Yeah. Now, Bismarck is doing a bit of a mistake, and I won't be saying the stuff about mistings or fairings, but I'll allow myself to do it with Mistborn, where Bismarck isn't transforming the main command center. And the command center on high ground, it's not terrible, it's not bad, but it is very risky. And canceling it is bad. I see. Especially when you restart it. That just costed 100 minerals in time for no reason. I see. He's got a little, a little Numi dude heading over to be a pest, I assume. A Reaper's heading out, but there will be queens out to to stop it by the time it gets there, or very soon after it gets there. And Cloud is also is a bit of an aggressive player, so she's ready. I mean, four Zerglings are out. They scare the Reaper away. And Bismarck is moving moving his barracks to put a tech lab on it and building a factory to go where the barracks was. Probably going to go into Hellions. While well, Cloud expanded to this base. Is there any reason why Bismarck wouldn't just make a couple Marines to kill that stupid overlord? Um, why? Because Marines cost money and you need every, every bit of money you have in the early game. Which that's... is why it was also so bad that Bismarck built, cancelled, and rebuilt a command center. And isn't mining. Well, you did say they're playing off-race, right? So maybe they're just not. Like, yeah. I don't know. I've got another hatchery. Yeah. That Reaper's Where? finally dead. The most important thing. I'm watching Bismarck, who only now started to build Hellions, Marines, from a tech lab barracks, which isn't always great, but he's also getting uh, stim. And is getting a reactor on his starport. And two more barracks. So that means Bismarck is going for bio, which is more people without wheels than things with wheels. <laughs> Cloud, on the other hand, is going for Banelings, which is actually a pretty good counter to Bio. And along with the fast economy, I mean, yeah. there is a slight advantage to Cloud. Oh, looks like there are some, some Hellions 31. 
And yeah, there are four Hellions, but they're not doing anything. Now, four Hellions can do a lot of damage, but they have to be in the enemy's base to do that damage. Yeah. Well, I assume if they went now, they'd get dicked on by the Zergling Swarm and the Queens. Um, if used properly, they could do okay, but yeah, those are fast Zerglings. Oh, well, looks like they're going to try anyway. That's what's important, trying. Or not trying and just staying around the middle. Also an option. Bismarck is building a wall. I mean, I assume with 10 billion Zerglings, that's actually pro definitely not a bad idea. Oh, walls are great for Terran. Think about it like this. Terrans are fascists. And... They do take over, take after a certain guy who really likes walls. <laughs> oh no! And that was a very bad Hellion attack, because like you said, the Zerglings got in. So, Zerg question, the creep tumor yep. things, can you move those later? Because I know those are like how they get more creep. No. They can, but they, each one of them expands into another place. I see. Okay. They duplicate themselves. Okay. Oh, got some tanks. Okay. Finally killing the Overlord. The Overlord is an Overseer. It got information, though. Let's look at Cloud's camera for a second. Oh, I know how to do that. Cloud That's... has seen everything Bismarck has. Amazing. Oh, shit. How do I turn off the, every... the Cloud cam? Press on E. Additional supply details oh. Also, you might have heard Cloud's announcer, which is Total Biscuit. I see. I did not. I did hear that Bismarck is supply capped. Which is, I'm given to understand, is a bad thing. Uh, yeah, Bismarck is supply cap, but Bismarck is moving out a force of marines and <laughs> tanks. About to, about to not be supply capped. <laughs> yep, moving them into Ling Bane, which is always a great way to stop being supply capped with marines. But no, rebuilt, yeah. rebuilt that supply very quickly. Look, if you look at the production, Bismarck has has units on the way. Yeah. What is this big ass dude? Yeah. Right? What the fuck is a Ravager? Yeah. The Marines were surrounded. <laughs> But the thing about surrounding marines is unless you can kill them, that's an advantage to them. Yeah. So Bismarck killed a base. And is moving on to the next one. Healing up before he, before he goes in. Ooh. And the bank come in and take a few seconds to explode. But... Hey, it did it. They all died? Still a pretty good attack, sacrificing that many marines for a base. And Bismarck's getting another base. Rebuilding his army. Cloud's getting upgrades, and... I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at. Yeah. I'm looking over at Cloud's five bases. She's trying to regain the macro advantage after after losing a base. But considering Bismarck only now just got the third base, she yeah. still has a pretty good macro advantage. Yeah. What she's missing is workers, and that's a gap that she really needs to make. I mean, she's still out, out producing Bismarck right now, so... Yeah. 
but Bismarck is spending all of his money. He he looks like he has a worker disadvantage, but Terran is actually always at a worker advantage because of mules. If you look yeah. at Bismarck's base, there are six mules. Five mules, sorry. Yeah. And Bismarck is scanning Cloud's bases. Seeing one unbuilt, one half mining. That's a big ass Zerg swarm. And yeah, that is definitely a nice swarm. <laughs> Sorry, my commentary is a little less enlightening. <laughs> its problem is that it's fragile. And Bismarck has three tanks, which you would know are very, very good at stopping fragile armies. Yeah. Jesus. Also a swarm. What Cloud needs is something beefy, like an Ultralisk or Roaches or... Although, with that many Zerglings, oh, that is... All. Fuck. 36 Zerglings. That's pretty good. But Bismarck's moving in. Oh, here comes the swarm. Sieging the tanks, getting ready to be attacked by the army. And splitting up the marines to make sure they don't all die to the single baneling. Cloud isn't taking the bait, isn't jumping into the tanks. Oh god. And yeah, Bismarck overextended over creep. And taps up. Neat. Well that was fun. So that is one for Cloud. I still don't I I did this game in uh in uh, my matches, and I still don't understand what this deal is. What? What? This map. Oh, I'll give a bit of an explainer. So, on the top right, red this time, zerg this time, is Bismarck. And on the bottom left, still purple, still the same zerg, cloud. Now, Jagannatha is a very strange map in the map pool. There are a few things that make it unique. First of all, it's really colorful and actually nice to look at, which is always a good advantage. Secondly, there are these four speed zones. They make units much, much faster. Thirdly, if you notice, on the top left and on the bottom right, you have base you have corner bases with ramps leading up to them. This means that a player can put tanks there or cannons or any kind of defensive fortification and the base is a little bit harder to break into. Yeah. And this is a very good advantage to players who like to play a little bit tricky and hide their stuff. And Looks like a spawning pool here. And also a spawning pool here. Haha. -ha. Yep. Cloud's going for a gas. Bismarck isn't. Bismarck might be going. Oh, oh Bismarck just had yeah. I was about to say, Bismarck might be going for a slightly greedier build, but no, it looks like they're going to do the same basic thing. Yeah, this map is really nice. Look, there's all this shrubbery, and it is very the dirt green. is actually purplish. And there's water. Thank God we have all this creep here to cover it up. Yes. I will say I'm loving Bismarck's like, I don't know, unit skin or whatever. It's really cool. Bismarck has the simulant skin, except for his hatchery, which is the classic StarCraft 1 hatchery. 
And if you zoom in on it, you'll see that they really improved the design between StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. Listen, StarCraft 1 Hatchery is trying its best. Yes, but it has a butthole on top. I mean, how else is it gonna make larva? From the sides. From the side buttholes. Like a normal hatchery. Bismarck sent the Zergling in, but it was stopped by Cloud Zerglings. And the Queen. And Bismarck is also expanding to a third base. This is a pretty quick third base. It's a pretty greedy build. Well, a third base and a Baneling list where Cloud is getting roaches. So that's always nice when the mirror isn't exact and there's players going for different things. Cloud sending out a unit of Zerglings and only now getting speed for them. Where was that? And Bismarck already has speed. You can see Bismarck's Zerglings have wings. They hop around very quickly. Cloud Zerglings are slower. No wings. Just sort of bouncing instead of hopping. So Bismarck's Zerglings have gone in, seen what there is to see. They attack the queen and die. This actually isn't a waste because Bismarck got information. Bismarck knows Cloud is on two bases, knows Cloud is going roaches, and he can get himself ready appropriately, which he's doing. He's gotten two spine crawlers. More than two, three. Oh, and while Cloud is attacking Bismarck, Bismarck is attacking Cloud's workers and killing them. And because of Bismarck's defenses, Cloud couldn't push in, but but Bismarck managed to really, really hit Cloud's economy. And it looks like coming in more. Yep. But they're scared off by the roaches, which are pretty scary, to be fair. I mean, that many. I feel like that many Zerglings would win against those roaches. No, or, roaches no. are great against okay. Zerglings. If you look at their stats, roaches deal a ton of damage to Zerglings. They have armor. They're a very effective counter. More Zerglings run in. Okay, Bismarck really wants to kill that queen. And he got her. Neither one of the players is really focusing on creep, which is okay when you're against Zerg, but it's nice to have the vision from it. On the other hand, it's also nice not to hit this nice map. Yeah. Jesus. Keep that disgusting purple away, you know? <laughs> Bismarck's finally going into a lair, which Cloud still hasn't. So that's a tech advantage that Bismarck is going to have.
no cloud is going into a lair, so it's not going to be a big tech advantage. But Bismarck's also got it, getting upgrades. And an infestation pit, so that could be quick hive. Or swarm hosts or infestors. Is that this thing? Oh, that's Roach. What the fuck is an infestation pit? This is the infestation pit. Oh, it's oh, that thing! The, hive. the croissant ass looking thing, okay. Just not see that, or was that like a scheme? How Did they not see what? The zergling is just... watching him. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Cloud's army seems to be mostly in Cloud's base. Bismarck's army is in Bismarck's base. They're keeping their lines very separate, very much like first, like the First World War. Each player has their lines. They don't go beyond them. See, if you look over here on the right, Bismarck did this before. He sent out, like, fucking five dudes to just vibe. Yep. Bismarck sends them around the right of the map. Just to mess with Cloud, really. They can't do that much damage. I mean, they all die. But it doesn't cost much money, and it moves Cloud's army away and maybe distracts her. Bismarck is going for Hydralisks. Oh, sorry. Cloud is going for Hydralisks. Bismarck is still on Zerglings. Cloud is upgrading Hydralisk range and Roach speed. Cloud is going to focus on that, on, on those. And yeah, Bismarck is going Ultralisks. That's interesting. Cloud is going a ranged army, and Bismarck is really focusing on this melee upgraded army. So it'll be Roach Hydra against Ultraless Kling. Is that good? Honestly, Ultralisks are considered one of the worst units in the game, but they are probably good against Hydralisks, and seven of them is still pretty impressive. Where are you seeing... Oh, are they just... Oh, they're being productive. Okay. I was like, where the hell are you seeing them? Cloud is insulting the original StarCraft Hive. Which, I'm sorry, they hadn't discovered aesthetics yet in the 90s. Listen, it's... Oh, I mean, it's an experience. It's not... It's... It's something. And the Ultralifts are out. Oh, those look so fucking cool. Little rage elephants. Big rage elephants. Um... What? Yeah, Bismarck just accidentally suicided a bunch of Amazing. Valens. And is sending the Ultralisks through the right to be sneaky. Look at that tiny sneaky army. Yeah, no clue what's happening. There's an army of giants. Oh no, yeah, I saw it. I was just... Yeah. And you see, Zerglings don't really do much to them. Because that's one of the things that Ultralists are amazing at. And they are just murdering this army. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes, that was unexpected. Kind of cruel. <laughs> so let's so let's see what game three brings <laughs> to us. scissors. Oh. 
So on Eternal Empire, on the top right, the red Zerg, Bismarck. Literally Biz. And on the bottom left saying GLHF is the purple Zerg, Cloud. Eternal Empire is a little bit of an atypical map because it's very open. There are a lot of paths around it. And it's very easy to mess around, to do fun stuff with fast armies. And also has uh, rich geysers here and here. And these towers which give vision. You'll probably see a player sending zerglings to them to get vision back. Yeah. To get more vision. No, I didn't. Oh, right, I did miss geysers. I missed. Oh, there's more? Jesus. Right? By the way, almost every time you see a really cool map in StarCraft 2, it's made by a map maker, maker called Super Uman, who. I don't think could make a normal map to save his life. I mean... So, I'm really glad he exists. You know, it's, it's nice that all the, all the different maps, like, have different things going on. It's not just set dressing. Like... Yeah, with most maps it is, but Super Omen and Maris are two map makers who try to add interesting things. They're both kind of doing the same build. Not really much to say about it. Except for the fact that Simulant skins are much nicer looking. They are. Sorry, Cloud. But... I love how Biz's drones have circular saws. <laughs> instead of... <laughs> oh, those are saws! I thought they were like little like fan things. No, like they're float. pizza cutters. That's actually really cute. And... Yeah. Overlords, they're all spying on each other. They say hello as they pass each other here. Oh, another interesting thing about the map is th this entrance to the main base. Is, it's both really narrow, it's a really narrow choke point, and it's uphill in both directions. Yeah. If I was staring, so I'd put like 20 siege tanks it. there. An army trying to cross it is going to get into some trouble. On the other hand, you do have a very open, easy path to go through on the sides of the map. So. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> is this over here one of those hidden Overlord bullshit stones? Yes. Okay, cool. Right, I should be pointing them out more often, but if you look, there are these elevated positions where if an overlord stands on them, you can't see it. Yeah. And it imagine, can see you. Imagine being able to look up. And Bismarck controls the Zelnaga Towers, and that means that Bismarck sees pretty much every path. I mean, not every path, but... Yeah, every path, actually. Bismarck. That's a lot of map control, especially considering neither of these players are really doing anything with creep. Yeah. yeah. Uh. And the Zerglings run in. Be very annoying. Now they're attacking the wall of evolution chambers, but they can't actually do anything. Those things have a lot of life. So they're just setting up camp outside of Cloud Space. Looks like both players are going to go into ranged units. Cloud going roaches. Bismarck also having a roach warren. But neither of them building roaches, and Cloud is building a Nidus work. This thing. So, how did. Oh. Hmm? Yeah? 
how do those, I guess how do those work? Do those just pop up anywhere or do you have to have vision? You have to have vision and the worm will pop out after 14 seconds, I think. Gotcha. And units can go into any worm or to the main butthole and leave out of any other worm or the butt. And we will get an indicator on the minimap when a worm is started. Gotcha. But just so you know, so this where would so it looks like cloud. cloud has a overlord here. So I'm guessing she's gonna just drop it here and drop it here and just dick on him there. Either there, or she'll move this overlord and this overlord oh, can go here. Up there. Okay. That pro that probably makes more sense. Oh yeah, there it goes. I was going to say that's the safest spot because Bismarck can can only barely see it. And Bismarck's gonna really need to be on top of it. Yeah. And he is. He's there. Roaches are up. And Zerglings and Queens are coming up. So this is actually really dangerous for Bismarck. That's a pretty nice army. I just killed the Roach Warren. And that doesn't cancel the existing. Okay. No, it doesn't, but it does mean there will be no more. And Cloud's got more roaches on the way. So why would Bismarck be attacking this evolution chamber when there's a duplicate? And another one. Why would... Bismarck isn't attacking an evolution right. chamber. Oh, Cloud is... Because Cloud was just attacking everything oh. in sight. I see, okay. So I add people uh, backwards. If there was an upgrade on it, it would can it would get cancelled, but there isn't an upgrade in it. This is a roach versus roach fight. Bismarck has a slight upgrade advantage. And got the worm down. And also rebuilt the roach worm sometime while I wasn't looking, while we weren't looking. Cloud isn't giving up. But Bismarck has seen it, has the lings out, has the roaches ready. Now a smart thing to do is what Bismarck just did, kill the worm, leave the roaches stranded, and then yeah. it's really easy to kill the roaches. And... Cloud is at it again. Let's see if Bismarck will see it. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, yep. But not in time. Oh, another one. No. Okay. But another one is popping out. This is, this is really annoying to play against, by the way. <laughs> I imagine. So do those, do those Nidus buttholes have a cost, or, like... How much do those cost to make? Uh, 50 gas, 50 minerals. So basically nothing. Jesus, okay. If you're a Zerg player and you want to make your opponent hate you, what Cloud is doing is how you do it. Yeah. So how would you how would you counter that besides having mans in like every single base? Um, you'd be it, very it, ready. It, Keep it, units running around. And because I play Protoss, what I'd do is I'd build cannons. Yeah. And what Bismarck is doing is leaving a few Zerglings here, a few Roaches here. And Cloud is coming with the with her Overlord to do another one. But it... It's probably... No, it might not get caught up. No, it got caught up. Roaches see it. And Bismarck's had enough and is sending his army to the other side. <laughs> now an advantage Bismarck has had is that Bismarck is on three bases while Cloud is on two. Yeah. So Bismarck is making money 150% the speed of Cloud. Yeah. So that means Bismarck is also making an army much faster. 
So Bismarck can have this defending army, which is big enough to defend, while also having this attacking army, which is big enough to do a lot of damage. And it's doing a lot of damage. Cloud is stopped. Cloud is stopped with the Nidus's and GG's. So yeah, so that's actually how you beat a Nidus Worm. You constantly counter the Nidus's and you build up your economy knowing your opponent is spending more money than you. Gotcha. Okay, so that was 2-1 to Bismarck.